Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn what are log shipping tables and how do we monitor log shipping using these tables. Before we proceed into this video, if you have visited my channel for the first time, please do watch the videos on log shipping configuration, a tough file, what is WRK file. I will leave a link in the description of these videos. Okay, you can watch it from this. So this is your log shipping. If you know the concept of log shipping and everything, that's fine. Okay. And you can also check the playlist and SQL interview questions. Okay. Here I have already configured log shipping for one of my database. This is the database LShip. So this is my primary server and this is my secondary server. Once you configure log shipping for any one of the database, there are few tables that are created under MSDB system database. So these are the system tables. You can see there are few tables that are starting with log underscore shipping underscore monitor. So using this table, you can get information about your log shipping configuration and you can also monitor log shipping with these system tables and same tables will be created at the secondary server also under msdb database so these are system defined tables okay what are the tables that you have to look for primary and what are the tables that you have to look at secondary we'll see now one by one first starting with primary being at primary server instance what all you need to monitor log shipping configuration the first you need to know what is your secondary server instance and what is your backup job name and whether it is running successfully or not and what is your last backup file to know all this what we'll do we just right click on this instance go to reports standard reports and then transaction log shipping status this will give you primary database name primary server name and secondary database name and secondary server name a101 a103 and what is its current status if backup has not been taken for so long time it will show the status as alert and you can see the backup threshold alert enable or not and you can also see the last backup file okay but it will not give you all the required information like when this log backup has been taken what was the backup file location and this copied file and restored file will show at the secondary server not here so as an alternative for this we can also get this information or else i can say an extra information using log shipping tables let's see how and what are those tables so here are those tables the first table is log underscore shipping underscore primary underscore secondaries this will list you the secondary database or secondary server instance remember you have to execute this we at the msdb system database because these are the tables that are created under msdb database so it has given you your secondary server name along with database name okay next we would like to know the information about our last backup file the backup directory its retention period history retention period backup file retention period and all using these two tables i am going to execute these two tables at a time to show you the difference i mean what extra you will get in this table and this table so here in primary underscore database table you will get the backup directory name this is the directory this is the local path and this is the shared folder and backup retention period for how long your backup is retention and backup job id and if you have monitor server it will also show the monitor server name and your last backup file backup date the same details will be shown here 
like your backup file location backup file date and the history retention period so this information you can get from these two tables next for suppose if your backup job is failed and you want to know the reason what is the error you can get this information using this table log shipping underscore monitor underscore error underscore detail so there is no error found till now so that's why it did not show anything what i will do is i'll fail this backup job so let me rename the backup directory name so that when i execute the job it will fail backup jo job directory name has been renamed now i am going to execute the back backup job and it will fail and those error detail will be written in this table you can see the backup job has been failed now when i execute this statement you can see the error has been written here this is the agent id backup agent id and agent z agent type 0 means backup job if it is one copy job if it is two then it's a restore job you can look at the next columns the message this is important backup job fail it cannot open the backup device because we have just now changed the backup directory name that's the reason backup job has failed okay and next is the backup job history normally when you want to view the backup job history we go to the backup job right click on it and then view the history you can also do the same thing by checking at this table it will list you the backup job history what all has happened for that backup job during these timestamps okay these are the tables that are checked at the primary server instance now let's see what are the tables that we are going to check at secondary server instance so here a103 is my secondary server instance being at secondary server instance how do you know the details of your primary server instance it will not show up under standard reports like we have seen in primary server it will not show up the primary server instance so when we retrieve the data i mean when you go with primary server instance and standard reports it will show you both primary and secondary server instance name but when you are doing the same at secondary server it is not going to show you the primary server name so how do you know the primary server name from the secondary server for that you can execute the statement i mean you can check at this table log underscore shipping underscore monitor underscore secondary once you execute this you will see the secondary server the secondary database along with the primary server and primary database name in this table you can also see the last copied file and when it has been copied and last restored file with last restored date in this table we can check both restored file and copied file and we have also two other tables i am executing both at the same time the first one will give you details of your copied file and the second one will give you the details of your restored file you can see this is your secondary id and you have both primary server name and primary database name and your backup source directory its destination file retention period and copy job id and restore job id and here you can see your last copied file location and when it has been copied and the second table will give you details of your restored 
file it will give you secondary database secondary id and your restored file location and last restored date okay for suppose if you have two databases that are configured for log shipping like in this case i have configured log shipping for the second database also this is my first database and this is my second database and you can see both are in restoring state so when you execute the statement it will give you all the details of both the log shipping databases its primary server name and database name and its secondary server name with database name and you can see the secondary id is unique for each database okay and here is your copied file and restored file so instead of using these two you can use this single table that's all in this video i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please do like share and do subscribe my channel for more videos we'll meet in our next video thank you that's all in this video thanks for watching the video please do like share and subscribe for more videos